All right, guys, this will be a, a, I guess a third person shooter uh, template we're going to be building. Uh, it's going to be based off of the default camera. Instead of making a camera rig, I wanted to, I made this and I thought it looked pretty good. So I figured I would show other people how I did it. All right. So this is what I have. This is only part one. All right. It's going to be a few parts because it'd be too long and I think it's better to chunk it off into little parts where you can kind of learn and then give yourself a day or two and I'll put out another one and you know you can really learn that all right so this is what I have all right so far in part one basically the weapon teleports to your back and if you hit up on the d-pad it goes into your hand and and then again back to your um, back to your back all right so let me show you how I did that all right I'm going to try something a little more different where I just build it all. Usually I go over, look, show the um, logic and stuff like that. And, and I actually will keep some stuff just so I can reference it quick. And I'm not like stumbling over my words. All right. So all right, what I'll do is I will uh, I'll delete that. Um, I'll delete this, this. And I will delete uh, this. All right. So quickly, I got a weapon. And all we need is one weapon, really, for this. All right. So what I did was I typed in sci-fi weapon. And I pulled up this SM House Pulse Rifle. Again, all you got to do is go into this search and sci-fi weapon and scroll over a little bit and you'll get this all right drop that into your scene and then what we're going to want is a teleporter all right i forgot to delete that teleporter up but it's all right um just get a teleporter and hit l1 to snap it to it and hit x all right and then once it goes flat the little microchip you know it's snapped to it all right because it's normally uh, nice and fat, same. So, all right, so if you go into this L1 square, and we're gonna call this weapon back one, and we're gonna match target position and match target orientation. And what that does is it literally, it's gonna match the position, so it's gonna like snap to it, and then however the orientation, however your character turns and stuff like that, it's going to stay in that um, orientation no matter where you go all right so what we're gonna want to do here is we're gonna want to have this teleport to your back and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna scope in so l1x once l1x twice and then once you see this highlighted you can see it highlighted on this back that's where you want to snap it to so what we're gonna do is we're going to get a uh, we're gonna get a microchip all right so and get that logic and processing get our microchip and again l1 will snap it to it and then there you go l1x opens and then circle will close this x opens and then we're going to need a tag all right and that tag is going to uh, be called uh, weapon back one right the same as what we have on the teleporter again naming conventions are not my thing so name it whatever you like but it should be specific um, but these have to be the same though the teleporter and the um, tag weapon back one all right so now I can show you what happens all right so what happens is if we go into play mode, it will snap right to your character, all right? Right to his back, and it stays with you no matter how you return, all right? But the problem you see, of course, it's clipping through your character's body. And the way we fix that is we go into weapon back one, click on this, the actual tag, and then if you hit play, it will snap, and then you can take this thing right here and we can move it only by dragging the little circle 
All right, you want to drag the circle. All right, and how I'm going to do it is just like this. All right. Now, again, the video is probably going to be a little longer, more because of um, this stuff. Just kind of getting this stuff positioned right. So, again, you could even fast forward through some of this like boring stuff. All right, so that's about right. All right. Again, you have to hit play when you hit to make this move to know where it's going to be. Because if you don't, you're going to just be moving it around. And then it's not going to, like, you have to, you'll have to do this and then hit play. And, and that's not really what you want. You want to, you want to hit play and then grab this circle and you can move it around. Uh, again, if you want to reverse or undo anything again it's left on the d-pad all right so let's go into play mode see if that works fine yep that's working fine all right so that's so far we have it now all we need to do is all right so quickly we're gonna call this our um, why don't we call this our backpack uh, just think of this as like stuff that holds your uh, yeah, not that holds your weapons. All right, backpack. All right, so that's our backpack. All right, so with backpack. All right, that's that. So what we need now is we need to be able to f have let our character know, like when it's equipped and when it's not equipped, when it's on his back and when it's on his when it's in his hand. And how we do that is we go into our controller sensor. Again, go into this eye, unclick this, and click X-ray, and then just open up this. I'll close it. I'll show you. So L1X, L1X will open this, and then in your controller logic, L1X. Again, all right, so what we're going to need here is a go into your gadgets, logic and processing, and we're going to need a selector. And what this is going to do is, and we're going to, I'll show you, L1 squared to open this up. And we're going to use this as page three uh, up on the D pad. All right. And you could even do reverse down on the D pad. So this will go forward and then this will go back. So, and then I'll show you what's gonna happen. All right, now again, I'll explain this selector in one sec. All right, so you're gonna go back into your um, gadgets and go into sensors and inputs. And we're gonna need a wireless transmitter, all right? And then this wireless transmitter, we're gonna call this uh, assault rifle equipped uh, where are you all right assault rifle equipped all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cl click we're gonna plug B into this now what this is gonna do is you don't want to plug it into a because a is your basically your first state that you're in and that'd be your uh, idle no weapon state depending on what you decide you want your puppet to have but it's your first state it could be him holding his sword you know whatever um, but in this in our case ours is just idle no weapon all right so again if at this point if we do this nothing is going to happen all right um, it's not going to go anywhere and the problem is we have to say All right, so back into the backpack, we have to go into our wireless receiver. So wireless receiver, we're going to call this assault rifle equipped. And you have to go over to the second page over here and then click in scene. So it's going to detect it anywhere it is. All right. And then we're going to go into logic and processing, and then we're going to get a not gate. All right, 
and in this not gate is going to basically say if it's not um, like equipped in your hand it's going to be on your back all right so let's make sure that works so if you hit play from here it still goes onto his back now if you went like uh, I'm trying to think if I took this out like this would it still teleport see it would not teleport if you say now if I go to hit play like this it doesn't teleport so so again put this not gate and it will make sure that it's going to be teleported there all right so the next step is we need to when we hit this button it's going to teleport to your hand and the way we do that is we're going to scope into the hand l1x l1 uh, only just one time so l1x will scope in so again you can tell your hand is highlighted we're going to get another microchip microchip all right all right so if you want to make sure it's clipped to it, just move the hand around and then plus left on the D-pad and it'll, you know, it'll undo. All right, so L1X will open this up. So what we need is, again, another wireless receiver. You can actually just copy this one. Uh, that would be L1R2. I'm stuck to the thing. Uh, come on. Get around. You're stuck. Come on. Jesus. Really hugging. Really hugging this stuff. God damn it. All right. Again, what's going to happen now is it's going to. Uh, no, nothing's going to happen, actually. All right. So if I hit play and then hit up on the D pad, nothing happens. All right. So what you need here is you need it to let it know where it's going to go. And that's by grabbing the tag again all right copy the tag hit from this to this and then the problem is here now you need to um let's, let's see what happens here so if i hit so if i hit up on the d-pad well it's not going to go anywhere because it's literally in the same spot so what you want to do is you want to take this quickly just to make sure it's working let's move it down really fast to the hand and then let's hit up on the d-pad all right so if you hit up on the d-pad it'll go up same as down on the d-pad it'll make it go the same thing so again same issue we had with the back and this is really all we're doing on this part so basically I'm gonna just finish up um, you know putting in the right position and um, and that's it for this part so you know stick around uh, do some I guess we should just so you can again see again you're gonna want this time you can't just hit play so what you might have to do on this one is you're gonna have to start going to game put the weapon in his hand then go back into edit and hit play. Now if you do that, now you can maneuver around. All right. Again, it's a little finicky, you know. Again, this is really it for this video. Uh, and that's it. So you just got to put it in his hand. And this actually part wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. Went a lot smoother. I'm actually going to go and turn off because there's way too much stuff going on here. So I'm going to turn off x-rays. Alright, so I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm liking that where that's at. Yeah, I like that. I can actually just like, bring it up a little bit. Yeah, like that. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to exit all this out. 
All right, so we're gonna hit play. Uh, we're already. It's not how we want it. Oh, because we didn't reset. So let's reset. Not reset. You just press in on the uh, what's it? Uh, the left analog stick. All right, so move around. The weapon's attached to our back. If we hit down on the D-pad, it goes right into our hand. All right, perfect. Up on the D-pad goes back. Down on the D-pad, reverse and forward. And actually, yeah, you can actually just I could probably turn it a little bit. But again, uh, let me know if this was helpful. Again, I'll be doing the next part, and um, this might be only a two-part, three-part. Not really sure. Uh, so again, hey. Let me know what you guys thought, and I will uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.